Hey everyone, everything in here with a quick Terraria tutorial on how you can install Tmod Loader so you can easily install Terraria mods and completely transform the way Terraria plays by adding new mobs, uh, new blocks, all kinds of stuff. Basically, the sky's the limit. Alright, the first thing we want to do is, of course, download Tmod Loader. Uh, just Google Tmod Loader Terraria and you will be uh, probably find at the top the Terraria forums with the Tmod Loader. And they have an introduction here. And if you scroll down, a uh, link to documentation is really helpful if you want to know um, how you can make your own mobs. But we are just going to look for download. And you want to select Windows or Mac, depending on which operating system you have, or the GOG installer. The GOG or GOG installer is for when you haven't purchased Terraria through Steam, but instead bought uh, it from GOG.com. And I will just go ahead and download the Windows version since I'm obviously playing this on Windows. So once you've downloaded it, I've already downloaded here, you have the Tmod loader for Windows. In this case, the most recent version is 0.10.1.2, as you can also see here. And I've also downloaded an example mod, which you don't have to download, only if you want to know uh, how you can build your own mods. Uh, so here you see example mod, you can download it here. I've also downloaded here the zip. The next thing you want to do is unzip both files and then you get tmodloader.windows. And once you unzip both files, you get tmodloader for Windows here. You open it up. Once you open the README, it basically contains all the install instructions, but all you have to do if you have Java installed on your PC, then you can run tmodloader installer.jar and it will automatically install tmodloader. Um, for you if you still have terrar Terraria installed in your default folder, which is C, uh, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps. Um, I have changed my default install directory um, since I don't want my games to be installed on my uh, C drive but on another hard drive. So since I haven't installed Terraria in the default location, the mod loader installer will not work, so I have to manually copy the files and I'll show you how to do it. First you have to find your Steam folder, and then just basically, just as the README said, says, go to Steam Apps, and then Common, and then find Terraria in here, there we go. And then, uh, you can already see I've installed it, uh, you see the mod files. All you have to do is copy all the all of these files except readme.txt and uh, mod installer of course. One thing I almost forgot to mention is that before you move over the files, you should back up your uh, regular terraria.exe uh, by naming it terraria uh, slash vanilla.exe. So if you want to switch back to regular terraria, you just replace this with uh, something else like terraria modded, for example, and then just change this back to terra just terraria. Since now this will be executed by your launcher, even though, oh, it changed the icon since I already have Terraria open in the bottom. But now nah, you need to remember that this is your vanilla Terraria and this is the modded. And if you uh, change the names back, now I play can launch modded Terraria if I open it up through Steam. So back to installing the files. And in my case, it obviously says 12 files are the same, but uh, I can just skip these files since I've already installed everything. And that's it, you've just installed Tmod Loader. So now we open up Steam and we go to Terraria. It might take a while for the first time to actually boot. For me, it took three minutes. But after you've booted it up, as you can see, it's loading and there you go. In the bottom left corner, you can now see Tmod Loader has been installed. And of course you can support Tmod Loader by going to their Patreon and you see three new options. First off, we have Mod Browser, which is really helpful. Um, you can download all kinds of mods here and we'll just have to wait. Hopefully it works right now. There we go. So these are the newest mods. You can uh, have some filter options here. Show all mods, show mods not installed. Uh, you can search for a mod, like let's see, DPS. So this is a new mod. I will probably do a showcase on it, um, but let's for now, let's just install it. You press download. You can also press more info if you want to learn more about the mod. So here provides a team DPS and boss damage meter for use in multiplayer. Well, cool. And you can also visit the mods homepage even. So we go back and you recently downloaded mods are currently disabled. Remember to enable them, of course. So then we go to mods and here we can see it. We press enable and now we just have to reload the mods and 
there we go. All we have to do now is open up a new world and then it should be installed and working. So don't forget, after you enable a mod, press reload mods. And also I think if you disable it, see, you also have to reload the mods. Um, if you want to manually install it, since you've downloaded a mod file, you can open up the mods folder. Uh, in this case, it's in documents, my games, Terraria, mod loader, mods. Uh, you can see here dpsextreme.tmod, this is a mod file. And basically there in this folder, you put all of your mods. Um, then we also have player files since it automatically, it doesn't use your regular vanilla Terraria players. So right now you see here, uh, I have no players. All you have to do is copy your players from Terraria players to Terraria mod loaders uh, slash players. So we go back to Terraria. Here we go. This is my normal uh, Terraria folder in documents, my games, Terraria. We go to players. And we copy this. Uh, the most important thing to copy is the player file, actually. You only have to copy the player file. You go to mod, mod loader, players, paste it in here. And we also want the worlds, I think. Uh, so we go there. And then mod loader. And, oh, I think maybe not even. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Terraria mod loaders dot of course worlds oh there it is so we put it in there go back and there it is and now we have the mod installed actually oh i actually teleported in here that's a small glitch but that doesn't matter since this is all uh, a separate world from my normal terraria let's play let's see oh well the mod actually only works when you're fi fighting an actual boss so let's just return to the menu. And that's all you have to know. Oh, mod sources is also very interesting. That's for when you build your own mods. Um, like I said before, I've downloaded the example mod from uh, the page. Um, your own mods you have to put in... Wait, let's go Terraria. Mod loader. Mm, uh, mod sources. Just as the menu we're in right now is called. And then you open up... Let's see, do I still have it here somewhere? I know where it is. Here it is. The example mod. I downloaded it here, extracted it. And basically inside, oh, I re already moved it. Now inside this folder would be this folder right here, the example mod. Uh, you move the whole folder with all of the files in it over to mod sources. You go to mod sources. So here's your own custom mod. And then you build plus reload. And then it will build your mod. And then it should also be in here, example mod. And then you can, it also automatically enabled it uh, since I pressed reload. And there you go. This, this is how you install your own custom mods. Now this video won't be about uh, how you can make your own mods and what goes into modding, but you can look it up if you just go to the documentation here and you can learn all about creating mods for Terraria. Well, I hope you're now able to install Tmod Loader on your own. For Windows, Mac, Linux, it's, all, it's almost all the same. If you need specific information, open up the documentation. And if you want more info on how to install it for like other platforms, it's basically the same process, but you can go to basic Tmod Loader uh, user's guide and here it will talk you through the steps I just told you one more time. And it also says how you uh, have to install the, the GOG or the GOG version, which only requires you to use a different uh, package. Well, that's everything. If there are any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. For example, you ran into an error while installing the mod. Don't be afraid to ask. I will try to help you as fast as possible. And yeah, don't forget to like this video if it helped you out. Subscribe for more Terraria goodness and uh, maybe in the future mod showcases of really awesome mods for Terraria. And I will see you guys next video. Everything out.